In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a user list step by step. Hi, I am Jill, Solution Engineer here at Noloco. And if you've been struggling getting your users into your Noloco application, well, this video is going to show you exactly how you can sync a user list from any of the backend data sources that we support. So let's dive into the video. First, we must head to the settings tab in Noloco. Once here, navigate to the user lists and sign up area. This is where we will create a new user list. In today's demo, we are already connected to an Airtable base. In this data source, the contacts table happens to contain all of the individuals I would like to give access to my app. Therefore, I'm going to sync them across via a user list. As you can see, the contacts here are differentiated by the type field. This will be helpful later during the user list setup. However, we also support the creation of multiple user lists whereby you might have individual tables that represent the different types of users you want to provision access to your NoLoco app. As you can see in this example, it could contain a table each for service vendors, agents, and clients. In addition to these individuals or users I wish to create in NoLoco, I also have a company table. These related companies signify where each of those contacts work or might be associated with. The good news is we can also sync companies at the same time as the user with the associations intact. Moving back into our NoLoco view, I will continue with the user list setup. Here I must point NoLoco to the table where my users exist. This might be a sheet if you're using Google Sheets. Then I must map the fields from this table to the destination NoLoco user collection table. We will need a first name, a last name and an email address field. If applicable for your use case, you can also map the related company field. However, this is completely optional. If you do work with businesses and you do plan to use our chat or file sharing modules, well, when you successfully sync users with their respective company, it means you can collaborate and interact with a group of users on their respective company channel for both messaging and file sharing. So keep that in mind if you think this would be relevant for you. And if not, you can of course skip this part. The last step is to apply a user role. Firstly, you can choose to apply a default user role to all users being synced from this data source. However, as you can see in this video, I'm going to make use of the conditional user role feature. This means if a contact meets a certain field criteria to then apply a specific user role to them. Therefore, depending on the type of contact that they are, I can apply the correct role. Behind the scenes, I have already created the relevant user roles I need a unique role for clients, agents, and service vendors. User roles will be covered in a separate video and guide. However, they become super relevant when enabling permissions to, to decide which users can access what data in your app. And that is the final step. Press save and NoLoco will take care of the rest. As you can see from my example, my contact records from Airtable have been synced into my NoLoco user collection table. When you're ready, you can check out how to enable permissions. Now at this point, you may be wondering, will all of these users receive invites to log in? And the answer to this question is no. We avoid this behavior during a user list sync. This will allow you some time to test out what you've built and view your app's configuration as different users before you go inviting them to log in. When you're feeling ready, use whatever tool you like to invite your users, or you can make use of the bulk or individual send invite reminder actions you can see on my screen here. The email that will be sent using these methods can be found from the email settings. Here you will see the customer invitation email where you can further customize the content of the email based on your needs. Make sure to use some user variables in here to personalize it further. And that's it. Now that you've told NoLoco your user list exists in your external data source, it will treat this as your source of truth for no local users. So make sure you continue to add any other users you wish to add to your app on the external data source side, whether that is Airtable, Postgres, or Google Sheets. And there you have it. You possess all the tips and tricks you need to set up a user list successfully.